Hey everyone, Dr. Charlie Johnson, physical therapist and back pain specialist. In today's video, I want to talk about another common cause of lower back discomfort, uh, and that is SI joint uh, problems and or sacroiliac joint problems. SI just stands for sacroiliac joint. Uh, but before I do that, for those of you who are watching and don't know me, again, my name is Dr. Charlie Johnson. I help people feel better without pills, injections, or surgery. So for anybody who's looking to heal naturally, call 484-552-3767. All right, so let's jump into it. Um, what is the SI joint? Uh, and you know, to start off sort of describing this, let me ask you this. So I have a two-year-old, uh, and let's just say that we want to go to the beach, and I want to teach her how to sort of build a tower of blocks. So here we are, we're at the beach. This is sort of the base one. And we stack all these ones on top. My question to anybody watching would be, what's the most important thing? So I said, hey, Hey, baby, you got to make sure that you get this one really well sort of situated or the whole thing's going to fall apart. What would that be? Well, I think everyone would agree it's going to be the base or the foundation. So um, get that. And, and, you know, if we liken that to the spine, here we go. This is the base of the spine, and this is the sacrum. It's basically a bunch of fused bones that sort of form this little triangle. Here would be like your little tailbone. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this is L1, two, three, four, five, just so you get what we're looking at. Uh, and what we have here, these little sort of butterfly looking things, these are basically the top of your outer hip bones. So these are called your ilium. It's a fancy medical term for them. So you have one and you have two. Uh, and notice if you look here, this forms the SI, the joining between the two forms the SI joint. So you have uh, one on either side of the spine, uh, SI sacroiliac joint, one here and then one here. So what does this look and feel like when I'm working with somebody? Uh, what are sort of the telltale signs of an SI joint uh, problem? So here we go. So uh, number one, the ages are sort of all over the place. So you'll see some very young folks think uh, think of like a very flexible gymnast uh, because why their bones and their structure isn't fully developed uh, isn't fully developed so what you see is that they have an excessive flexibility uh, you know if you've ever looked at a young gymnast you see they kind of contort their body in all sorts of ways so that can stress out some joints uh, in the uh, inner about this SI joint area so uh, you have very young folks then you see uh, middle-aged females and the reason is uh, middle-aged females during, before, during, and then even up to a year after pregnancy because there's a hormone called relaxin that's secreted to sort of ease or relax the pelvis for childbirth uh, such that obviously a baby uh, can, can go through. So with that being said, there are ligaments here that connect and help kind of stabilize the joint. And if you have a hormone that's helping sort of uh, relax them, then sometimes what you'll get is you'll get this joint uh, gets a little annoyed. The third group of people would be folks who are much older or wiser, uh, specifically uh, those who have hit a history of you know smoking, steroid use, things like that, and a history of a previous back surgery. So you'll see much older folks with a back surgery have this issue. And really what happens is think of the SI joint as a stress relieving joint. And that sort of situate, your head's all up here, your feet are here, and it's sort of in the middle. So it has to figure out what to do with all these forces. When you step off a curb, when you jog, when you're just walking or squatting or lifting or whatever it is from above and then from below. So a lot of things occur here and the joint has to figure out what to do. And the body's really smart. So let's just say that somebody has rods or previous surgery to their back and their back's not moving well, uh, as well as it could. Or maybe they've had a hip surgery and this hip maybe doesn't work as well or whatever, uh, the body is always going to sacrifice uh, quantity or quality for quantity, meaning that, you know, whenever this person goes to swing a golf ball or pick something up, you know, that person's not stopping and thinking, oh, well, don't move like that or don't do this. Instead, the body's just going to figure it out. And if it can't move from up above because this is stuck or this is stuck, then this joint gets stressed out. And in folks who don't have who are a little bit older who don't have maybe great bone health, sometimes what you'll see is that you'll get little fractures or you'll get uh, stress problems in this area. So that's the first telltale sign. This is almost always one-sided uh, because the joint, uh, the joints lie one here, one here, but usually you'll see that it's a one-sided problem. 
uh, it's very uh, it's very pinpoint. So if you've ever looked in a mirror, you'll often see like a little dimple, or uh, people can feel this little bony bump on one side if they sort of wrap their hand around a little bony bump or point on the back side there near the, near the base of the spine, uh, and it's pinpoint pain. That's exactly where the SI joint is located or pretty much around that area. These folks, what's interesting though is that they don't have any back problems. So uh, no back discomfort. They say, no, it's not really up there. It's more just here. And they point to that pinpoint spot, either here or here. Uh, let's see what else. And these folks have trouble going from a sitting to standing position, uh, rolling over in bed. Uh, let's see. Yeah, crossing legs, various things like that. So with that being said, these are the five telltale signs of an SI joint problem and really the art is trying to determine is this a hip problem, is this a back problem, is this an SI joint problem and what we know is that they're really good without even having an image. We have really good uh, tests, movement tests that we can move the hip and back uh, in ways to determine if this is the cause of uh, any type of discomfort. So that's great news. No need to rush off and get an x-ray or MRI there. Um, we can definitely help out with that. So if this was helpful, like, share, or comment below and or for natural relief, call 484-552-3767. Thanks.